To a large extent, yes, it is, uh, because this will be the first time I think we have this high number of uh, populist, far-right uh, uh, members, uh, call it whatever you want to call them, uh, in countries like France, like Italy, um, Austria is more difficult uh, because they are going through a political crisis, but in Germany, uh, even in some of the northern countries, you're having a big push from the far right, and therefore that should translate by a way or, a num uh, or another in the numbers of MEPs they will get in the European Parliament. Now they have a problem. They're pretty much uh, divided between themselves, so will they be able to form one single a parliamentary group, or will they go, as they have done in the past, between two or three groups? That will be uh, the main problem for them. If indeed they join forces and they become the third largest party in the European Parliament, how disruptive can they be? What sort of policies can they block? I think it will very much depend on the other side, whether the other side, the centre-right, the centre-left, the Liberals, the Greens, are able to coalesce together and to, when necessary, uh, to unite themselves in order to push back. If they're able to do that, then they will form a constructive and posit positive force that will be able to move ahead. If they don't, then the far right will be disruptive and we will very quickly see some gridlock here and there. And don't forget that the European Parliament has a lot of power in the legislative process, in the budgetary process, so that could make a big difference. Let's look at France, because right now the polls are suggesting that Marine Le Pen could actually win the vote um, next on Sunday when we find out the results. What are the implications for France and the European Union in case President Macron loses this election? First of all, it will not be a question of losing or not. Um, even if uh, President Macron's political party comes second, first of all, it will be very close to the uh, other one. And you know, the real issue is about the national votes coming into a European parliamentary group. So that may make the difference. Um, let's not forget also that in the last European election in France, Marine Le Pen already came first. Um, she was the first uh, political party in the last European election. And thirdly, let's be aware that at the moment the difference between the two is around 1%, which is the margin of error in the, in the electoral forecast. So let's be very cautious about, about that. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.